Eleanor Elna here from Spartan. We're here with the Kettlebell Training Tips video series that Elna has been graciously giving away her top secrets for becoming an athlete just like her. And what are we going to focus on in this video, Elna? Recovery. Recovery yeah. training. Very, very important if you want to push yourself to the extreme limits as we know you have done. What are some of the things we focus on or you focus on in recovery? Yeah. Food. Food. To eat. Eating. Yeah. Obviously something that is probably uh, easily overlooked, but obviously very important as well. Yeah. So Pro what sort of foods are you thinking about? Mm. Protein. High protein, protein foods. Yeah. Okay, the proteins help your muscles recover and grow, which is really important if you want to get stronger and increase your endurance. Yeah. What else are you looking at? Carbs. Carbs, yeah. excellent. So naturally curing carbs from vegetables like potatoes. Exactly, yeah. Rice. Pasta, pasta, bread, yeah, yeah. and that's your energy source when you're trying to do those 10 minute sets. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, what else in recovery are we looking for? Fat, yeah. Fat. Fat. Very important in your diet. Not a lot, not enough people are eating fats in their foods because they're scared of putting on weight. But what it actually helps you do is break down those fat deposits in your body when your body is receiving them. It helps let them go. So it's very important for keeping a low exactly. body weight count so that you stay within your ranking. Yeah. Awesome. Exactly. What else? Mm, vegetables. Vegetables. Of course, yeah. Of course. All the nutrition, everything to help your muscles relax and not cramp up when you're doing those heavy lifts. Yeah. Right. So we're talking about the whole nutritional package. It's very important exactly. for training. Eat people. That is the that is the <laughs> message here at this point. What other elements to recovery? Rest. Rest. Yeah. So we're talking about building rest days into your training. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Have so some days. Yeah. Just we just relax. Relax. Very mm. good. This is really important to help your muscles recover. You do need some time off in between either heavy lifting or super long sets. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just not going to make it to the end <laughs> point. What else in re in resting are we looking at? Uh, sleep, of yeah. course. Yeah. So if you're tired. You sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're tired, you sleep, and also you're not going to be able to train as hard if you're. If you are tired, no. Yes. Okay. Now, third and finally, tell me something else. Stretch. Stretch. Okay. We've got the foam roller here and you're just going to show you some of the yeah. stretches that you like to do after a heavy set. Exactly. Cool. The foam roller is a really good tool because it's like self-massage, which everybody loves. So what's this first exercise? I call it shoulder. Yep. Just rolling out the shoulders. Exactly. So these are the muscles that get activated and used a lot when you're, say, overhead doing snatches and jerks. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, yeah. yeah, you're just resting and rolling backwards and forwards. This breaks up any of that tension in, in between the shoulder blades. Yeah. It also helps with mobility for your lockout. Then I have the hip. Yep. Yeah. The hip. Yeah, nice. So you're just rolling out that area in your, in your hips that get used again for all your swinging movements. Yeah. It looks like it's quite uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, so all of these exercises are going to be rather painful because you are squashing the muscles up against the foam roller. And then you're going for long ways. Around the world. Around the world. This is a nice relaxing exercise, which is a great way to finish after you've done your full workout and you're stretching. So what's happening due to the nature of the foam roller is it's actually realigning the pelvis spine. And as she brings her arms up and around, she gets to stretch out her chest, her shoulders, and puts all the pressure down onto her lower back as she gets into that lower position. And it feels nice and comfortable. Yeah, it feels it? really nice. Yeah, it helps your body just completely relax after lifting. Very good, thank you very much, Anna. Thank so you. So they have three key elements to improving your recovery and once you improve your recovery your training is only going to get better and you can check out more at goodbells.nu